Catching carp is something that most would say seems relegated to traditional western fly rods. Six weight territory, bare minimum. But what if I told you that a beefed up tenkara rod could do the job? Able to cast delicately and with precision. The sensitivity to detect strikes and about the most fun you can have with any type of fishing rod in hand. To be directly connected to these fish with no reel or drag to buffer their powerful runs, it is absolutely exhilarating. So today, I'm out at my local river where a healthy population of carp swim, and I'm going to see if I can hook up to some of these incredible fish. The way the light is, I can't really see beneath the surface too much. It's not a place I really want to be in for carp fishing, but uh, it's pretty early morning and that's just where we're at right now. I know carp like to hang out underneath limbs that are kind of stretching out over the water. So there's a decent chance that some carp are resting in here. Whether or not, whether or not they're actively feeding and whether or not I can actually get close enough to uh, present a fly in front of them. That's, a, that's another story entirely, but uh, we're here on the river. We're making the most of it. Just trying to do what makes sense in the moment. Hopefully if we keep at it, we'll, we'll find some fish today. Yeah, this is tough. There could be dozens of carp, <laughs> you know, just hanging, hanging along the edge there. Um, or there could be none. And I really have no way of telling that right now. So I think I'm gonna switch the game plan up just a little bit. I'm gonna get out of the water, get back up on the bank and uh, try to get some height above these potential fish. Walk up the river, see if I can visually uh, find some fish and then sight cast to them. I think that's gonna give us a much greater uh, possibility for success. So uh, let's get out of the river and get up on that bank and, and do just that. All right, guys, we have got probably a dozen carp in front of us. One just jumped out there, but they're all stacked up in this little feeder stream coming in here. I've seen a few of them move away. I don't know if they were spooked or not, but uh, we've got many more just tailing right in place, literally right in front of me here. Casting is gonna be kind of tight. Fighting is gonna be kind of tight. It's gonna be a challenge overall. First goal here is to get a cast in front of them. I've got a big tree behind me, unfortunately, so my back cast is definitely getting interfered with. I'm nervous. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually just gonna dab it. I'm gonna dab it right in front of them. I'm gonna extend this rod, max length. That's gonna be my stealthiest option. I just can't get a good cast here, so here we go. All right, swing it out here. Drop it in. All right, it's in the water. Fish is coming towards it. My heart is racing, disappointing. They just kind of moved away. Oh, these carp are smart. These carp are smart. And you see one more up, in the, up at the top of the pool here. Let's give it another try. Oh, okay. I felt some tension, set the hook, <laughs> but snagged him. Not a legit, not a legit eat. Came back with just a single scale on there. 
Ooh, man, carp fishing is so exhilarating. It is tricky, but when you, when you succeed, when everything comes together, kind of, kind of my favorite feeling in all the types of fishing I've ever done, honestly. Oh man, wish I could have gotten one of those guys though. That's how it goes. We'll persevere. We'll find another school. We're going to catch some fish today. There's a ton of carp in front of me right now. They're all coming into focus here. Got a group of five or six kind of swirling up near the surface. Some more right at the head of the of the uh, stream that dumps into the main river here. I'm just gonna cast and work my way slowly up to the real juicy spots, hoping that I don't spook any, because uh, if you spook one, there's a good chance they're gonna spook all their friends. Going wild out here, they're jumping. There we go. <laughs> Felt that bump. Yeah. Oh, he's just digging deep. He's digging deep. Keeping pressure on him. Keeping that bend in the rod here. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This new rod, this is the Daiku T Hunter by Wasatch Tenkara. People have caught steelhead in the upper 20 inches on this thing. So I figured why not a carp? So far it's handling it just fine. Man, they are heavy and powerful though. Just the bulldogs of the fish world. Carp usually make a couple strong runs right off the bat. One or two very strong runs. And then they kinda, they, they're, they've got a lot of weight. So they're, they're nothing to mess with, they're still they're still uh, very, very strong contenders, but uh, after those first runs, you kind of got them under control. So I'm feeling good about this. Feeling really good about this. It's getting away from me a little bit here. Step forward and get that rod back in the power curve. Put, point the butt towards the fish. That's going to be the, the most powerful position for a fixed line rod. Whew. Oh man, this feels so good. Yes. It's a nice fish. Very nice carp here. This is a very nice size fish here. He's starting to get tired, but uh, that final bit, that final bit of getting him to the net is one of the trickiest parts. go. Yes. <laughs> well, there we go. Look at that beautiful beast. Man, chunky fish. Nice big tail. Just beautiful. Nothing more fun 
than a carp on a 10 car rod. <laughs> there she goes. That was pretty awesome. I'm still shaking from the adrenaline. That first run from a carp is just uh, something to behold for sure. That fish wasn't the longest carp I've ever caught, but uh, it was a fat one though. And you could feel that weight. <laughs> Man, they're in here. You see that big one just jump? <laughs> I love how carp do that. I enjoy carp fishing just so much. Stalking, searching for uh, good active fish, making that perfect cast. They're incredibly fun to fight. It's just like, just awesome all around fish. Number two, baby. It was like real shallow, just kind of like some mud flats out here. And uh, I cast that fly out and just was kind of slowly pulling it in towards me. Felt this little guy pop on it. Not as big as my last one. But any carp is a good carp. <laughs> We're working hard for him out here today. Such fun fish. Come on, bud. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, <laughs> days, days looking up. Having a lot of fun out here. current here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Nice carp here. This is the biggest one of the day. We're definitely gonna, we're definitely having to move with this guy. Oh my gosh. You just can't get this with trout. And don't get me wrong, obviously I love fishing for trout. I love the places it brings me, but <laughs> to catch carp this size, no reel. I mean, this feels absolutely ridiculous. This is a genuinely nice sized fish here. Just moving with him. Moving with him. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, what a day.
real nice fish. This rod does great. It's so crazy. You just, you wouldn't think you'd really be able to do this on rods without a reel. Everyone thinks they need drag. Big long pole. <laughs> it gets the job done. And it feels absolutely wild. I don't care about the sound of a drag peeling off. This is just, this is way better. <laughs> way better. Yes, what a good day. Oh, I love these carp. Just love it. Look how gold this one is. Looks like a goldfish. Big fins. go oh my god look at the size of that fish oh yeah fantastic <laughs> oh my gosh so cool man would you just look at that fish <laughs> all around just a beefy beefy carp big fins Pretty long, this one's about 24 inches or so. Get back in there, buddy. Just get him revived a little bit here. He's totally fine. go. Heck yes. Carp on Tenkara. Something that I really didn't think was feasible just a couple of years ago. Which is interesting because it actually makes a lot of sense. Fly fishing for carp is often a close range pursuit where stealth is paramount. Tenkara rods excel at closer ranges and at stealthily presenting a fly better than any floating fly line could. And that fight, nothing compares to the feeling of being directly connected to these large fish. And I can't wait to get out and target them again soon. If you'd like to see me target another large and interesting warm water species on Tenkara, Click the video about Northern Pike above. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.